video. In the previous videos, we have learned little bit about Plasmo and a little bit about app design components. In this video, we will be creating our first game app. The game is quite interesting and exciting to play. So let us go ahead and find out what the game is all about. A quick observation, you can see the names of the game. The name is Berry Finder and also the who has made this game, the rules for the game. Also a text box where we have to enter our name. So in the name I'm going to give here is say demo guest. And let us go ahead and click on play game. So you can see there is a timer set for 10 seconds and it is running out. I'm running out on time. There, There is lives. I've scored two points as of now. But I have run out on time by now. So there is a scoreboard and you can see who the high score and the high scorer is. Our score is two and we have got a thanks label which is saying thank you for playing and also a play again button. So if I click on the play again button, I'm coming back to my first screen. So this time I'm going to give a different name say guess two and i'm going to try to beat the high score so i'm going to play the game again and i'm going to click on the strawberry button as you can see the strawberry button is moving randomly on the screen but i'm losing my lives too when i'm clicking anywhere else other than the strawberry button though i have scored four points which is greater than the high score i have lost all my lives and i have got a label that is saying you lost all your lives in the attempt to be the high score i actually lost all my lives and hence i'm not the high score Go ahead and start designing our first screen that is the main screen of the game. So let's click on create new. Give the title as clicker game. Give the objective as my first game. Select the image. This is optional. You can do it or you can skip it. Okay. Okay. So click on create. Now our project has created successfully. This is the code area and this is the design area. So we will hide the code area and we, we will do the designing part. So first of all, we will change the background color. Okay. So first of all, we will give the heading of the game or the title of the game. So we are going to add an element called label and name the element as the heading heading label so always give appropriate names for the app element okay and inside this label we are going to write the title of the game as berry finder so uh, hide we can put as 50, let's say, and width as 500. Okay, so I'm going to change the type of the label and the font, my favorite font. Increase the size of font. Remove the border color. Okay, so click on save. Okay, so the next part is we are going to give some introduction of the game developer. So we are going to add another label called give the name as intro label. Okay, so inside this label we are going to add something about us like hi. My name is Varsha or hi, I'm Varsha. I love to do this, this. Okay, whatever you wanted to write. I love to code, create with technology. So 
I like to travel, listen to music, and to read books. Okay. So let, let us now change the size of the label box. Let's say height as 130 and width as 700. Okay. And font size is this one. And increase the font size, font family. Okay. Remove the border color. So let's see how it looks like. Okay. So I'll change the background color of this label as this. Okay. So you can change the font size or font family also. Click on save. So our next thing is we are going to insert a berry picture here. So insert add an element for the image. So let us name this image as berry image. Click on OK. Now we have to put the picture from our PC. So I have downloaded one berry picture that I am going to upload here. remove the background color change the height and width let's say height as 100 and if you are keeping the same height and width and choosing the type 2 it will be gonna circle okay so I'm not going to keep it as a circle click on save so I'll put here okay so next thing I'm going to write rules of the game so add another element label for the rules name the element as rule label and inside it write rules of the game Okay. Increase the height and width, let's say height for 50 and width, let's say 500. Increase the font size also, let's say 35. No, no, 35 will be bigger, so let's say 25. Keep the type 2 font and, okay. So let's see how it looks like. So it looks like adjust properly right okay one more thing here if two elements are overlapping you need to change the z index suppose z index here see this one is zero okay so increasing the z index will not let overlap the elements okay Okay, fine. So now we will add the rules of the game in three or four lines in a label, in another label. So let's go ahead and add another label for the details of the rules. So name this as rules explain. Okay, so click on OK. Now inside this, write the rules of the game. So our rules, I'm going to write first of all, welcome. Welcome to the Berry Finder game. Berry Finder. You need to click. On the strawberry. win 
points if you click on the other berries you lose life lives okay you have to you have i think 10 seconds to find out to find as many strawberries can do to be on the top scorer can you play well enough to be the next berry gamer so let's increase the label box height and width let's say height as 100 and with as 750 okay and font size also as 20 remove the background border color and click on save okay so i'm going to change the font family to this and click on save so this is the rules explanation welcome to the berry finder on all okay So today, this much you need to design, and in the next video we will be creating one button which can navigate one screen to another screen and put a play button. Okay? Thank you, everyone.